page, page number eight. For this, we need the last of our base side pieces that measures 11 inch by uh, 11 inch by nine and a quarter. And of course, we need our insert that measures 10 and three quarters by eight and a half. And we need the insert flap that measures 10 and three quarters by nine inch. And I scored at the nine inch, at a half inch and at three quarters. And for this, we will start to prepare our insert. So this is my insert. Then I will fold my fold lines. be glued on the left side On the inside of my flap I will make a pocket and for this I have a piece of paper that measures nine and a quarter by eight and one of an eighth and we have to score at the nine and a quarter on two sides a half inch.
So this is the <coughs> insert on our base. We will glue on the right side also a big flap. And this one measures 11 inch by 10 inch and on the 10 inch side we scored at a half inch and at three quarters. So this goes on the right side. I have to think about a closure if I want to do this magnetic or maybe with some baker twine. This later is on here. So, there will be inside of here a waterfall and on here we will have the last of our frames. Here we have a nice pocket, a deep one and I will start to decorate um, first I have to think about the closure and I think I will do a magnetic closure. I think for the twine there is not enough space but I will use here a stronger magnet. Finding a good spot. So. There is the mate. Then I will start to decorate everything and um, the last step will be the waterfall.
here on the pocket I have from the 8x8 um, aviator this sheet and I cut here this um, clock uh, half round I cut this make an incision cut and we will have here a pocket and we will have here a pocket um, I will cover up the back side and I think I will do this with some craft I think this is a good idea yeah first I will make here my corners my edges with some distress ink And then I have to think about how deep I will have my pocket. I don't think that I will have this in the full size. This should be maybe too deep. Um, inside of these little pocket we can place some of these cards so then I think I will cut this on here I will place my glue um, here on that upper part and on my craft paper only here a little bit of glue on the bottom that's it Then we will have here our pocket. Yeah, this is good. And then I will glue this down. We need um, a booklet. I have this one here. This I will place inside. I made this um, for another spot and this one does not fit so I will use this for here. And here for the inside Maybe 
some of these cards. And now I will see with these goggles here. Um. Here on top for this I have this one here. This is from the Ciao Bella paper, a sheet and this goes on here. For this, I will glue this one here on the edge. This will be the layout for my inside and I will do here the same as um, the other one. I will make here um, a pocket out of it.
for the waterfall I have these papers one that measures nine and a half by six inch one that measures ten and a half by six inch and one that measure measures eleven and a half by six inch and we scored at each side at four and a half make a score line turn this four and a half make a score line on all of these three pieces then i will fold my fold lines And this is again a stacked waterfall. I think this is the easiest way to make a really straight waterfall. Um, I need now my scoring board. Here are my inches. This is the zero. <clears throat> and I will take the biggest piece one side is on the zero line and the next one the one inch bigger piece I put here in this middle part my glue So like I, like I said, this is here upright at the zero line. Then I place my waterfall on that half inch mark and I glue this down. Then the smallest one, the same. Here on the middle part, I will put my glue. The biggest one is still at the zero and then this one I place at the one inch mark. And I glue this down. So then I have here the perfect half inch gussets and I see that I am here not really straight. This is no problem. I folded my fold lines not really straight but I can cut this off. And then I have a straight line here, and this one is fine. So, the decoration for this, I have here these cards, these postcards. And I think I will start with the Train. Um, I have here still a half inch space because these are a little bit too small and now I'm thinking if I am doing here a border or if I made here another strip with some decoration paper. Hmm. First I will distress my 
cards. I will do here some design paper on. So first I will glue down my cards.
so I think I would stop for now for this page and here I have on the clock and on his glasses these um, yeah how did they call this um, I don't know how to call this these glass um, capuchons I glued this on here as his goggles and this is now three-dimensional with some glossy accent this dries totally clear so you can look through these and see the image yeah I will stop for now like I said I will prepare my um, binding system and I will pre-cut my chipboard for the cover and then I will be back bye bye <music>